Kane of Bucks is wrestling back at you one more again. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I don't know why when I get started that like a but anyways, uh I guess my energy is just on hyperdrive today. So my bad. My apologies. <laughs> so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, um, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or do I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are comfortable um, or if you feel like the video is being very informative to you or give you good vibes, please go ahead and share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through needs need spiritual guidance or going going through certain things where they need confirmation and validation towards their life path or a soul purpose. Please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, this beautiful meditation music that I'm listening to today is called Reflect, uh, Relaxing Meditation Music for Calm and Silence. Reclaim your power and release all negative blocks. And I will post that link in the description box below. Good God, y'all. I don't I don't understand myself that sometimes I can do videos without the light flashing, but it's just like my energy has been rebooted, I guess it is. But it's just like I got these powerful downloads and it's just like I have pressure coming through my you know, my third eye, and it's just like I even noticed that my shift has just changed it, changed dramatically, because it's just the way I'm speaking, and I'm projecting my words out to y'all being very articulate, you know, about certain things that I've been saying, but anyways, the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101, Hey Opus, the keys to turning your impossible into a possible, you know, it's just like, you know, I've been watching a lot of motivational videos this morning, it's just been giving me so much insight, and, you know, I cried during tears of because it was just like today I didn't know if I was going to rest or you know or go ahead and do videos today because it was like like I said earlier my headache was like everything was sensitive to me it's like the bright the lights were sensitive you know I had to you know my tv was it felt like even with it being on the volume of 10 it was like too loud everything was like sensitive to me I was feeling everything seeing everything so it was just like seeing at all three eyes today so it was just like god if, you know universe if you want me to do videos today send me a sign and all of a sudden they had me watching certain videos um because that's uh, like i said i'm not a religious person i'm very spiritual but i forgot what i forgot what uh channel that is but it was just like you know how god allows certain things to happen it was just like dang you know and then next thing you know it'll be certain words like i tell y'all you know when i ask for that sign they send certain words that they'll guide me towards certain things to have me watch, you know, for me to be able to, you know, not copy off of their videos, but gives me an idea in my own mind, like, oh, okay, this is what you want me to talk about. Okay, got it. But it's just a lot of things, you know, we go through, you know, after we go through our spiritual awakening, you know, there could be certain things that will be leading us towards that, you know, you're not satisfied about how your life is going, you're not satisfied and what you're currently doing you know you dread your job you dread it could be a, even a relationship that you're going through but there's a lot of things that we had to go through that series of events you know uh for us to be able to know you know things are bringing on a change you know like i connect with anybody and there's a lot of people that i connect with you know it's just for me being that spiritual conduit you know universe allows me to be able to connect with people to try to give them un understanding on why their path had to be that way a lot of things that we feel, you know, we, we, we allow ourselves to get guilt, feel guilt on certain things that is, you know, happened in our lives where we felt like we could have been or being able to orchestrate certain things to have a positive outcome. Um, but it's everything had to go through those series of events for you to be able to look at your life and be like, oh, okay, I understand why I had to go where it went. Because it's like I looked at a lot of things like, dang, you know why, you know, this had to happen now. Because if this happened, you're never supposed to sit up here and dwell on what has happened in the past of your life. Because you had to go through a series of events to bring a lot of the things towards your life as, as a forefront for you to be able to see that key point on what you're working towards on, you know, what has happened. In life you know there's a lot of times we have doubts and every uh, certain things that we are working on in our life 
and if you feel like at times there might not be possible for it to happen but you have to understand god creator universe whoever you believe in you worship to is guiding you through those certain things you had to go through you know they have to be able to see how bad you want things so they will send you to different opportunities for you to go venture off on this and yeah you might fail at it or may, you may not it just all depends because they send you to all these different stocks for you to be able to know because there's a lot of times when we feel like certain things are as impossible we always we're not looking at it in a, a in a positive viewpoint you know because there's a lot of times you know even when i was starting like i told you i just started my new you know group page you know it gets frustrating you know at times i love the fact that is the way certain things happen you know because it, it was like i was about to close it down and a lot of people were like rosalyn please don't do that you know it take me a lot to be able to, you know i'm trying to be patient but i'm the type of person like look i'm not gonna be putting all this energy into this if nobody else is not participating but it was just like i shut it down like that before but i have to be able to be patient with other people and that's what god god's being patient with me you know, there are a lot of times like God be looking like, Lord Jesus, if this girl don't get it together, <laughs> you know, you got to get better at it. But you have to be able to do that. You have to about, you have to be able to turn your impossibles into possibles. You have to be able to work on it. You have to be able to maintain that faith. You know, you can't keep working on things. And when the time get unexplainable or it gets rough, you're ready to drop it and go to things. That's how I live most of my life. You know, if you ain't working with it and it ain't working back with me, I'm hell with it. I'm gone. No. You can't go about things like that. You can't go about it on the, you know, the old way on some new stuff. You can't do that new situation. You're still trying to go about it in the old, old viewpoint, old way. It's not gonna work. You have to find a different strategy. You have to deal with it. There's a lot of reasons why we go through the things we go through. You have to be able to have faith in the universe, faith in yourself that they're guiding you towards these certain things for a certain reason. It's just like with my my situation. Like when I first started doing these videos, they had me doing IMFJ videos. They had me doing straight empath videos, twin flame videos, witch videos, uh, Hayoka videos. They wanted me to stay on this Hayoka videos. But there's a lot of times there's certain situations that are happening in my connection with me. My dad is being twin flames. They want me to talk about. So wherever they're guiding me towards, you know, I just go ahead and do that. I'm like, do you really want me to talk about this today? Yes we do oh my like, okay you know because sometimes i feel like certain things is crazy that they want me to talk about and i don't understand why they're taking me out this way but then when i make the videos and just the way how y'all respond to certain things it, you know it, it, it's kind of creepy but it's crazy and amazing all at the same time to me so it's just like like with my group you know i have to be able to get better at it you know it's like sharing different things you know i try to share you know pet videos or you know something about the astrology you know different links that you know we need to pay attention to doing questions of the day you know it'll gradually get better i don't know why they're pushing me to do this because i don't like god if you want me to continue with this page you know give me a sign that you want me to still you know do this page so it's just like okay certain certain things occur you know whatever that we all need to pay attention to you know it's just regardless on how many people see it you know they have to get used to that because you know i see a lot of different pages some people are, are active in, in those and they're not active in that one that got kind of you know aggravating but i can't worry about that i have to keep doing what i'm doing because obviously they're sending me to push this out for you know different reasons you know to help others be able to you know be open on the things that they experience because i'm very proud of y'all you know everybody who likes to participate you know some other people i got to be a little bit more patient with them but you understand i'm not getting mad i ain't fussing about it you know that everything has reason for happening the way it happens because see i'm opening myself up to possibilities you don't know where this is going to teach you you don't know what is going to you know push you out for it so it's just like with my my group there's like far as i know they don't have any hayoka groups out there on facebook but also it's just like a lot of my videos they have certain channels that has talked about hayokas before but a lot of people are coming back to me telling me they don't have videos like mine on talking about things that we struggle with on a daily basis or things that i need to look for or certain things that you might have characteristics of that you might not have been aware of because i always let people know you know it's a crazy situation but you have to leave yourself open to possibilities you might be a person that you feel like you're a wiccan or a pagan or just regular witch whatever but then you end up having gifts of a uh clairvoyant clay or um artisan so audience whatever they call it and you know uh a reiki healer and all these different things because god is not going to unload us with all these you know knowledge 
and visions at one time because he's trying to allow you to be able to venture towards other things to where it opens up something else. You know, it's just like a virus. That it starts in one part, but as soon as it busts out, you know, it ends up venturing out to different places and affecting certain different parts. You know what I'm saying? So it is. that's what our life is about. It's about self-discovery us to be able to believe in ourselves that you know once you put your mind towards working towards something you never know where it's going to lead to so you have to be able to look at certain situations like that or all your situations because it's just like if you live your life through uncertainty to all time you ain't gonna get nowhere <laughs> you know that's why it's just like i'm so determined on doing what i do i can't worry about what people think of it what people do you know a lot of people don't want you to be able to go further than that because if you end up giving up on it you're giving them exactly what they wanted out of you because a lot of people don't want to see you do better than them and it's just like now i'm on my own journey i can't worry about what people don't want for me if you're you know that you know that give me a chance to go ahead and pray for you and so you can fix your life because a lot of people they judge you or they're like oh i hope they such and such don't get this such and such if you're so busy worrying about who sally and paula and whatever else this journey is about you're not paying attention to your own. You know, everybody, nobody can compare nobody's journey with anybody else's because everybody's is different. Now, if we're, you know, you're not, you're supposed to be on that journey with somebody, you'll be on that journey. You know, you're if you're supposed to be there for that hot minute and part ways, you have to be able to be able to prepare yourself for that as well. So it's just a beautiful thing when I can explore myself with all these different possibilities in life. You know, there's a lot of times you know, my mom always sat there and told me, God rest her soul, I miss that woman. Uh, she was like, Rosalie, you don't have enough faith. And it was just like a lot of times she would play a lot of tickets. Mom, why are you buying that thing? You know you ain't going to win. She's like, God dog it, will you stop saying that? You putting it out there to the universe, this and this and this and that. And there's a lot of things that even her ex-husband has taught me I end up using it in the future. He always told me, you know, if you... Uh, if you react to anybody who tries to throw you a bone of negativity, that allows them to know they still got that power over you. And then there's times if you already know they did things to you and they know they did things to you and you don't allow that to even show that they affected you, they, they're more scared of you, you know, and that allows them, don't, they, don't, they don't know how to approach you about certain things because they don't know how you're going to react to it because you're not reacting the way they think you are or they assume you are, especially people that know you. It's just like with you going through all these things in life, it is just not uh, taking effect on one certain thing in your life. It's allowing you to have belief and faith in all the things that you, you know, that one thing you could be working on is going to be end up applying on everything in your life that, you know, you're changing. You have to be able to look at it that way because it's like when I see my situation, it has allowed me heal in a lot of places. It gave me, you know, because I was the type of person that I can work on something, work on something, and it, if it's not flourishing or blossoming, you know, I just give up on it. But now, you know, it was just like I always had to know where I was going. You can't do that when it comes to the universe because they have you going through certain things for a certain situation, a certain reason. You have to understand I had to step back many a times without me being in my emotion because sometimes I'd be in that emotion and then I had to be able to step back and see what is the universe trying to teach me out of this situation? I always tell people that, especially when they come on to me one-on-one -on -one about certain things that they're going through in life. And, you know, I try to use my life as a positive example for their negative situation that they're going through so they can be able to see what I'm trying to show them. You know, a lot of people I discuss certain things on, and I know it is so beautiful to me that God is allowing me to be able to connect with certain people, to be able to, you know, because I always used to be saying, oh, I'm scared if I don't have to answer for them to try to help them. But thank God, all these things that people are currently going through and they're guiding towards me, I've already experienced. So I can be able to tell them, oh, you know, I did this. You know, that's why I'm grateful for the, the toxic relationships I've been in. Excuse me. For the certain situations, the failed relationships, the failed friendships, they allowed me to do that like any other time before. So as soon as I said that, my phone lit up. That's how I know I'm on the right, you know, the right uh you know, you have to always look at things as a learning experience. You know, whether it was good or bad, it's always taught you something. So you have to understand anything that you're working towards, you have to have that mindset of possibility. You never know. You have to be able to, you know, leave yourself open for the unknown. You know, not allow nobody to walk over you, but you using discernment. All the things that has been applying towards your life journey that you're on, this whole mission of self-discovery. Is allowing you to be able to use discernment, being able to look at things without making a false 
decision out of it, you know, because anything that you make a decision on can either hurt you or make you. So you have to be very, you know, patient is like, okay, God, you know, send me that sign, that confirmation. Is this where you want me to go? Because a lot of those, you know, things will come towards you. You know, they're desperately trying to say, you know what, they're coming to me. You know, you're not putting your faith in mankind. You're not putting yourself on other people's opinions of what you're doing. You can't be able to do that because you're the person who's going to have to deal with the consequences later. And I always tell people that. And I said, this is my experience. Now, you can do what you want to do, but I'm going to tell you how I went through certain things. So it's a blessing to be able to use certain things that has happened in my life to be able to know, even though it was a negative, you know, impact in my life, it also brought some positiveness as well as that. So it's just like allowing yourself to be able to heal on so many different bases, but know that wherever you're guiding towards, you have to be able to have that mindset of possibilities for your impossibilities. So, you know, never second guess yourself. Know that, you know, your spirit guides and creator and God, whoever you worship to is, you know, taking you towards a journey to be able to have better blessings for yourself as well as your loved ones. So I hope you are able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. It's always blessed to be able to help others as well. Um, let me know if you truly resonate or is this a sign or confirmation that certain things that you're going through can be able to send you, you know, possibilities of blessings. So whatever you're, you're working towards, I hope and pray everything comes out good for you and you are allowing yourself to be open towards the blessings you're trying to receive. So my post notification shout out goes to Miss Keisha. I hope everything is well with you and things progressing. Much love to you and much love to Greg Seika. I hope I pronounced your last name right. So my bad if I didn't. Um, much love to you as well. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can or truly take somebody a really long way so remember like and subscribe drop me a line so i can give you a post notification shout out share give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that bell and i'll see you on my next video much love peace